guys i am all ready all i did was a little treadmill walk i did a speed of three and an incline of 10 and got some movement in while i edited a little bit and here is my outfit today i have on the spanx set with a little tennis skirt and then have or like a little tennis skirt you know with shorts underneath and then i think skirt is that when you have shorts in the back and just a skirt in the front? So I guess this would just be a tennis skirt, but matching tank and then my Sydney sweatshirt. And I have on just this little Amazon headband. I'm liking how the headband looks a lot. I tried a new foundation this morning and I think it looks really good. It's that um, Haas Labs, it's Lady Gaga's brand. And I don't think I've ever used their foundation before. So the makeup is kind of makeup in this morning at least until I get in some natural lighting. But good morning and welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna go meet my sister and my mom for breakfast this morning at First Watch. My mom's in town and I'm so excited to hang out with them and then we're getting a pedicure today. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Broke, she's gonna get the same dang meal every single time. Every time. Oh, well, she and mom, you kinda get eggs. the avocado toast all the time too. I do. I got healthy turkey or something. Yum. Oh, and mom gave me a little valentine. <laughs> I want to do a fun color. I always do something boring. On your toes? Yeah. Do blue. Blue's fun. I always do red, I always but I don't know what I would toes. do. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hi, sweet girl. We just played some fetch. I miss Sadie girl. Hi. I miss Sadie. <laughs> got first watch with my sister and my mom and then got our pedicures together, which was fun. That seems to be one of the things that we'll always do whenever my mom's in town or if we're visiting her, we'll always get pedicures together. And then we went and went on a walk because it is the most beautiful day. It's 74 and sunny. It could not be more perfect out. So we went on a couple mile walk and now I'm headed home. Jay has been down bad with the flu. I think that's what it is, the flu. And I've been doing everything I can to kind of make sure I'm staying healthy, but still try and take off as much as I can from him and like make sure that I'm helping take care of him. And he's so stubborn when it comes to sickness where he's like, nope, I'm just gonna continue on with life and I'm gonna be fine. But this time it has him literally bedridden and so that's when you know that it's bad because he's normally like nope i'm fine i'll just go get a sweat in and i will sweat it out not this time so i'm headed home to him and it's valentine's day so happy valentine's day guys look what i just came home to while i was out and about he snuck out even while he's sick and got all of this and had it set up for me to get home too you're joking with me you're joking I hate to admit that I threw out my sourdough because someone's telling me like I don't want to do like seven days or even more and have this not be the right flour. Someone told me that I need to do brown flour. Wait, I need to look and see what they said, but they said that they used it they used this flour, which I'm confused because this literally has bread on the back, but maybe because it's a different kind of bread. I don't know. I'm like flour, sugar, okay, yeast, salt. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just because it's different bread, so I can't use this kind, but regardless, I'm going to get the other kind of flour and I'm going to have to start from scratch because I really do want to make some sourdough. Anyways, good morning. Not me being like first thing in the morning. Look at my sourdough problem. Here's my sourdough issue. Oh, I just woke up at 7.20 right now. I've been sleeping in a little bit. Well, I didn't sleep in yesterday, but when I read at night, I have such a hard time putting my flipping book down. And I was reading The Housemaid's Secret last night. And I've already read The Housemaid, obviously. Because if you're going to read them, I would read that one first because that's the order they go in. And I guess there's going to be another one in June, so I really want to get this one done. But The Housemaid's Secret, it seems like it's going to be crazier than The Housemaid. I don't know, but Frida McFadden, her books are just crazy. I read The Inmate by her, and that was crazy. 
I think I read that before I read Housemaid and that's what got me into it. But if you like psychological thrillers and I think I like psychological thriller books better than I like psychological thriller movies because I have a hard time with, well, like anything gory or anything really spooky on the TV and on the movies I don't really love. And that's just because I'm a little wussy with that, but I will say that psychological thriller books are my favorite. So if you guys have recommendations of psychological thriller books that you like, or just books in general that you want me to read, um, Larissa, which is one of my good friends, she does all things book content. So you should follow her on like TikTok and YouTube if you are into reading. But she responded back to my story last night of me reading and she's just like, Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy seeing you read. And it really does make me feel so I say that every single time. I'm like, I feel so much better when I get the heck off my phone and just read. Just read a freaking book. I feel like my vocabulary is better. I feel more uh well spoken. I feel like I'm more energized the next day, other than the fact that I stay up too late. But I just feel better when I'm not scrolling social media, you know? Not me being on social media and that being my job and still telling you to take a break from social media because you really do need to try and wind down at night or don't let me tell you what to do, but it makes such a difference winding down at night and not being on your phone and having everyone else's life in front of you and scrolling through, like comparing to everyone else's highlight reels. And I try to keep it real, especially like it's hard on Instagram because it's just photos normally, but on TikTok and on YouTube, I try to keep it very real and show you guys that. But at the end of the day, you don't want to go to bed comparing yourself or paying attention to other people's lives. I That's why I like to read is because it has nothing to do with me and I can't compare to it. It's like, you know what I mean? So I can't go to bed like stressed that I'm not doing enough or stressed about anything like that. So it's my reminder to put your phone down before bed tonight. Okay, I'm picking up my mom right now and we're gonna have a little day day in Tampa. I don't know exactly what we're gonna get into, but I just love spending time hanging out together. I have had a morning. It has not been a bad morning necessarily, I wouldn't say, but I was doing a brand deal for Nordic Track, which I've been so excited about and I'm like, this is such a big, freaking brand deal because I already had their treadmill and I've been showing it a ton for the last however many months and I get so many questions on it. I love it. Regardless, I think that's how they found me or that is how they found me and I have just been really like really excited about this brand deal and I just felt like nothing was coming together well like I was just beating myself up I'm like this is not good enough like I sometimes will get in kind of a negative head space and talk down to myself when I'm doing brand deals because I like for them to obviously be really good quality and I don't like just like slapping something together for an ad and I take it seriously as my job so anyways I spent it's yeah now 11 o'clock actually and I think I started it at like 7 37 45 and I still need to do a couple things to it because it just was not coming together exactly what I wanted it to be like and we'll figure it out but anyways I got a couple things done this morning I'm gonna go do this and hang out with my mom I think we're gonna get a smoothie maybe go to the river walk to walk for a bit I keep going back and forth like it's too dark with my sunglasses on because it's gloomy out but it's that weird overcast that it like feels bright in your eyes and I have blue eyes so it makes your eyes more sensitive I digress. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I think maybe we'll meet up with Mackenzie quickly because my mom has never even met Mackenzie, which is crazy. And I feel like every time my mom's in town, Kenzie's out of town. So I think we might do that and see her and go on a walk, maybe run a couple errands. I have some jeans that I wanna return to Zara. I don't know, we're just gonna see where the day takes us. But I'm just in a comfy little outfit right now. I have my Anin Bang sweatshirt, my Align Biker shorts. And then I have these sandals on. Your makeup looks good. Don't she look cute? She does. Hello. Hello. Uh, this has to be. <laughs> Like 
I think this is gonna be my outfit for my bachelorette trip because we're doing pickleball. And then the pink outfit, I didn't want to order it because I didn't know what I would think about it. So we're gonna look at it in person because my mom needed to come into Lululemon. And then this is that Nomad color that I love. This is the comfiest top ever. Here's the little skirt outfit. Look how cute this chair is. I have nowhere that would go, but it's so cute. We love window shopping. <laughs> okay, the entryway shelves are coming along. That's what we were on the hunt for today for some things and found some really cool stuff and then also some of it's from our house already. I took that picture frame from this entryway area and I loved it in the entryway so that might find its way back over there because I don't know if I'm married to it up there. Also, if you guys have any suggestions, I know that this has a lot of room up there. So I don't know if you put artwork up there or if I just put something taller on the top shelves. I'm not exactly sure, but we're we're getting somewhere. And I honestly just love this area right here. So I think that it's gonna look really good once we get finished styling some stuff. Random stranger in the picture frame, but then we've got, obviously we'll swap that out with something of us, but I love this little trio right here. And I think that this I, I think this is perfect because this was styled like this in the store and I figured, yeah, we keep it just the way I liked it in store. And then I always like some like chain links like this, this really pretty box. It's super heavy. I was wondering what this was all gonna come together like on here because we've got some heavy pieces, but this little X figurine type thing, long, I don't know. Do we like it more? Yeah, I think we like it like this, but you also, could style it like that if you wanted to. I think I kind of like it like this. I will probably change things a million times, but a lot of these books I've already had, I was saying that I really like, and Jay agreed with me, that I really like the difference of having like some pages out at you and then some with the binding towards you with the title of the book. So I could do some like smaller books in some other places of the bookshelf. I think that you can style a ton of books on there, but uh, you don't have to have really aesthetic bindings or book covers if you have them styled out like this. So I could get some different ones, maybe some smaller books to tie in. And down here, I'm not really sure what we've got going on down here. I really like this strip right here. So that I think we might keep as is, who knows. This is probably my favorite piece. I just don't know exactly what I wanna put next to it because I think some books would look really good. I just don't have that many books. But what do you guys think about how it's coming along? I don't want a look of clutter, but I also like the look of having some personality to this area. And I've loved how this looked. Obviously, it's a little bit different now that I have the picture frame over there. I'm probably gonna swap that back right now. And then this I just decided was a little bit too chunky for the bookshelf. And now it's not Valentine's Day anymore. So do I get rid of the hearts? Cause I really like the look of the heart. <laughs> Maybe we add that to the shelf. Everything goes to the shelves. Guys, guess what I just did? Ran a mile. Yeah, I think it might've been a little bit over a mile. It was about a mile point four. Really? 4.4. Almost a mile and a half. Yeah. Straight, I didn't even stop once and Jay Easy. rode on the bike next to me. It was easy for her. She's a runner. She's a track star. Now we're gonna go to Publix and grab a couple of things. Our daily trip to the pub. Here's my running fit. I'm gonna go throw a t-shirt on and then we'll get going. My problem has been that I haven't been pacing myself, right? Yes. And so Every Jay taught me- Every time she runs, she sprints. Yeah, Jay taught me to do a little bouncy bounce like this. Just relax and slow. And relax my arms. And he says that I do one of these numbers. Yes, you do. I always learn cheek to cheek in track. Exactly. I ran eighth grade track. <laughs> cheek to cheek. And they said I used to run like, do I still? No. Okay. But you still go cheek to cheek. Well, yeah, that's what I was taught. And I did the four by one, so you pass the baton. I tried to do the little faux freckles. This is what we're looking like. We're looking like I just went through a ATV ride in the dirt. Mm. 
Wow, this coffee smells so good. You want it right now? All right, just finished my workout. Got a little upper body, I did full upper body workout today. And I am headed home to get ready for pickleball. I'm gonna go meet my sister, brother-in-law, mom, and Jay is gonna come as well after he's done with his workout. And we'll play some pickleball. I will say Jay's not the biggest fan of pickleball, and I, I get it, because it's not fun playing sports that we're not good at, you know what I mean? But I'm like, no, you just gotta play a little bit and you'll like it. I think he's probably played one time. I don't think he's played more than once. <laughs> of course, you're not going to be good at it. He's like, ah, can we play basketball? <laughs> but I am definitely liking pickleball more after this past time that we played because I was feeling a little bit more confident then. I will see you guys when I get home and we'll get ready. I want to wear a cute little tennis skirt and get in the pickleball mode. Also, it's Friday, so of course we have Friday night date night. I just don't know exactly where we're going yet, so we need to decide on that too. Still have some work to be done in here, of course, but we got it all cleaned up in here and also have the bedding all done. I just need, well not bedding all done. I need to get a duvet cover on here and I do have one, but it's this cream color. Do we like that cream color next to this headboard? or do we need like the stark white? So I think I do have a stark white Brooklyn and uh, duvet cover that I could put on it and I think it's a queen size because I used that on the other one. So I might put that out here and then change those pillowcases. And then I think I need to find some little bedside tables. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have a ton of room to have them totally have room so maybe we'll take a trip to tj maxx or home goods or something to just find some that we can take home with us i don't know or maybe I'll look on amazon i'm trying to decide if i want to keep this clothing rack out here just because this closet has like little cubbies in it it doesn't have because it was for an office it doesn't have a clothing rack so we're able to unpack and then we have the full bathroom in here. So I'm gonna put some towels out here, make sure we've got some body wash, all the things in the shower. It's gonna come along really nicely, super quickly. Decided on just this little onesie outfit and that I have from uh, Vitality. I always almost call them balance because that's what they used to be called. And I am bringing a Go Macro bar. I'm actually about to eat this on the way. We're off to go play some pickleball. This can be Josh, the boys one. Can you play with two people? Yep. Oh, there's, there really there's a couple ways you can play. You can play full court, or um, sometimes we play skinny court, so you have to keep it in just the side. Oh, wow. Which makes it you really work on your shot. Yeah. Yeah. Decision shots. Zero, zero, start. Fly. 
Same or regular Texas. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, Marie's. Come on. Oh, I see. I see. Thank you. Just opening up some packages and look what PR package I got from Bondi Boost. Oh my gosh, look at Liaison sent me these flowers. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much. I just love the Liaison team. Just got back from a run. Holy crap. I did the same route as last night, but. I also just had Mexican food like a little bit ago. And I was like, just feeling worn out. Like I was tired on the way home from getting food and with my family. And I remember I dropped them off and had like a 30 minute drive. And I was like, I'm so tired. I got back and Jay's like, you still running tonight? I'm like, yeah, I guess I did say that I was gonna run tonight before dinner. So I'm trying to stick to it. I know it's not that far. It's like a mile and a half, but it's hard for me. Like a mile and a, a mile point four. And it's just, it's like impressive for me to not stop and walk. And so I ran the entire thing and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And yesterday I had Jay kind of like talking to me and keep me occupied and tonight I didn't have any music or anything cause I think carry my phone, I just carry an air tag so I can be tracked, but I didn't have my phone on me cause I'm just going around the block. Holy cow, yeah, so. <sighs> Done and dusted. Okay, here is the outfit for dinner tonight. I just am bringing this sweater because it's probably going to be a little bit chilly in there. I feel like it was cold last time we were in there. We're going to go get some sushi. I'm going to wear these slides. Have this Ritzia short sleeve brown shirt on and then these denim forum jeans. Nothing crazy. Didn't even put on mascara, but... That's okay, we're gonna have a little date night at, what's it called again? Uwu um, or something? Umu. Umu. <laughs> Got some pad thai, chicken pad thai for both of us. Phone eats first. <laughs> Best part of the night, getting home and getting in comfy pajamas. Just got home from dinner and we're gonna chill now. I'm thinking I'm gonna read more of my book here soon. First I gotta take off my makeup and do my skincare and such. But I think I'm gonna end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed these couple days of my life. I love y'all so much and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.